How are you feeling? Are you ready? Are you ready for this video? <laughs> Not really. No. <laughs> no. I, I feel think... a little bit stressed, to be honest. I think we just got to shoot, the <laughs> don't we? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Do you shut? You, you go. I'll start, you I'll start. Start. Okay. 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 Ready? Yeah. So Nico, a few months ago we made a video, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We made a video to update you guys on like what had been happening with us so far in the year. And it was a little bit of an intense video, I'm not gonna lie. I know, it's really stupid, but... I know. It's just really frustrating. I know. <sighs> it was intense, but we got some really lovely comments from most of you. <laughs> yeah, some of you were just utter bellends, but that, it, this is the internet, so uh, what, what can you expect, eh? Yeah, but I mean, a lot of people don't know us, so they don't care about our story, so we just seem like two whiny people, but you guys, the solid subscribers, you know us, you've been following us for maybe years even, and so you're interested, you want to know what our story is. And so this video is kind of a, the next stage of that, isn't it? The next step. Yes, the next steps. Anyway, for those of you who didn't see that video, uh, let me sum it up for you. Basically, we were whining about the fact that we weren't able to stay in China. We tried to start a business. It was, we're having a lot of issues around visas, blah, 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 boring, Absolute boring, Absolute whiners. Yeah, but thankfully we did get a few lifelines yeah. thrown our way, didn't we? We did. So it's made it possible for us to stay longer. We've been living here in Beijing. I've been working on a project and you know, it's been quite comfortable but it's not been a permanent solution. It's kind of felt like borrowed time really, hasn't it? Yeah, totally. But that being said, we have made the most of these kind of extra months. Yeah. We've had an amazing summer shooting some incredible videos. Wow. Where have we been? We went to Fudan and we learned more about hacker culture. We also went to Guangxi and we learned more about the Zhuang minority. And it's just been super, super interesting to kind of deep dive into these other places and learn more about different cultures here in China. Yeah, these are the, exactly the kind of videos that we ultimately want to make. This yeah. is the reason that why we want to stay in China, yeah. and why we've been trying to build our future here, because we do want to dig a little bit deeper. Yeah. We do take our filmmakers seriously. If anything, we'd make every video like that, but yeah, obviously they, work, they they require a lot of work. And as you guys know, obviously, you know, this is YouTube is not our full time job. We have no. to make videos for clients. You have to work full time, like doing your work. It's so it's a lot to fit in, isn't it? Is it is a lot to fit in, but we are really proud of the content that we've been pumping out and you guys seem to have really enjoyed it as well. So we're really happy about that. Um, but when it comes to making this content and traveling, that's what's been actually really difficult here, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, look, it's not news to anyone, is it? Like um, the COVID policies in China are very restrictive. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, we've been big supporters overall of the uh, response and mm -hmm. how well COVID has been dealt with here. But I think there is like a, a lot of people are finding it very challenging here yeah. with like the economic situation. A lot of our clients are struggling. Yeah. And it, a lot of people hard. we know are, are like really struggling. Like we've got a lot of friends who've been trapped outside of their homes, trapped in their homes. Yeah, because you just difficult. never really know what's going to happen. You don't know if the situation's going to change. If you're going to visit somewhere and like it's going to get locked down, there's always this uncertainty. And we're big planners. So for us, this has been... Just an added bit of stress on top of everything else. It has really, uh, kind of mentally, it's been a struggle this year. And now it's not just because of that. A lot of other things, obviously, we, we, we enlightened you a little bit about our business situation. But, you know, other things have been going on as well. Personally, I've struggled a lot this year. Mm -hmm. You know, we've lost family members as well. <sighs> Not again. <laughs> Not again. Okay, that said, I'm going to get through this video without crying. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Sorry. It's okay. You got <gasps> this. Got this. So I just, got this. like, it's been tough. And I'm sure there's many people out there who feel the same. You know, maybe you're stuck outside of China and you can't get in. And it's been three years since things went tits up. Things. Things went, things, since things went tits up, since we've seen our family, um, since we've seen our friends, since we've left China. And we've enjoyed our time here so much, but we think it's time that we have a bit of a break. 
I think we need a break. I think that much is clear. Like, just look at your missus. You're tired, aren't you? Hey. But we are going to try and turn this into a positive thing, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm upset because I, you know, like if the situation was different, it wouldn't be such a hard decision and it wouldn't be such a struggle and it wouldn't be so like emotionally, we wouldn't be so emotionally affected by it. No. But the fact is, it's not easy. It's not easy for us to leave and come back. You're either in or you're out. That's kind yeah. of the, the, for most people in anyway, certainly for us, that would be the case. Exactly. And like, there are ways obviously that like I, we could stay. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm not denying that. You, you know, I, I could get a job as a teacher and things like that. But I think for us at the minute, this feels like a bit of a sign that now is the time for us to see see our family and friends for starters and, you know, just kind of go somewhere else for a little bit. But I'm hoping that things are gonna change next year anyway, and it won't be very for very long. It's gonna be more of a, See you later, rather than a goodbye forever, because yeah, we're on a break. We yeah, need a we're, just we're on a break. break. We're on a break. We're on a break. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're on a break, and we hope we're going to come back next year because you know, as we've said before, China's always going to have a very special place in our hearts. So it's not, it's not all, it's not all sad. We are obviously sad to go, but we are also super excited because we're going to leave Beijing for a little while and. Our plan is to hopefully go traveling a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to spend the month or two going around shooting a hell of a lot of content. Yeah. We've got a lot of ideas, but we're also looking for a lot more input from you guys. Yeah, so we've kind of got some vague ideas, like we've got some unfinished business in Chengdu. Maybe I'll finally make it to Guangzhou. Maybe we'll go back to Nanjing, the place where our China journey actually started five years ago. Exactly, but it all depends on a few factors. I'm sure you can guess some of them. Um, but what we loved about the Guangzhou video was you guys just really, really helped us out. So we'd really love your input on where we should go, what we should see, what we should eat. And if any of you are even in these cities or towns that you think we should visit, we'd love it if you would come and help us make a video. But Nico, how can the lovely audience at home stay in touch with our travels? Well, we're not going to be traveling in real time because I don't know if you noticed, our videos take a long time to edit. But I'm going to be updating a lot on the YouTube community. So please keep checking there to see if we're near you or if you've been to that place before to give us some advice. If you want to stay up, with, up to date with extra content, then check out our Patreon and sign up to that because we really appreciate all the extra help as well to keep putting out videos for you guys. It really means a lot. And also my Instagram, I'll be sharing stories which are pretty going to be pretty much like when we are in that place uh, because it is hard to put out so many videos videos on YouTube. So our plan is to make a load of content and then release it kind of throughout the year next year. But after we leave China, we are also going to take a break ourselves. We are indeed. So I'm actually heading back to the UK and where are you off to? I'm going to New Zealand. Yes, yeah, so we're both going to spend some time with our family. Yeah. I think like have a, something that's much needed, which is a bit of like reconnecting with the yeah. friends and family. Yeah. And then we are going to meet back up in the new year, hopefully do some exciting travel yeah. together and keep working on videos. But first, we're going to have a little break. Yeah, we're going to have a little break. It's good. It's, yeah, little it's break. good. It's good. And then, yeah, maybe we are going to start a new channel, which is going to be really exciting. And it's going to be videos from other places. And we're going to keep this channel very much China content. So hopefully some of you subscribers will come over to that channel because you like us and you like our videos and you're not just watching us because we are in China. But we are coming back, which is why we're going to release this video. Yeah, so that's the kind of the key takeaway, I guess, of what we should aim for. Yeah. This isn't like a goodbye forever, is it? Stop by forever. Any means. Obviously, you know, as we've already mentioned, three years, we need to go back and see our family and friends. Yeah. But as soon as the conditions are right, we will be coming back because mm -hmm. we have got some absolutely fire projects planned. Yeah. And for reasons, COVID reasons, boring other reasons, just we just can't. Possible. Yeah, we just can't do these projects now. Yeah. But we know that you guys would be so excited. We, there's so many series that we'd like to make, so many documentary oh, style films so we can do, many so many places we want to travel to. But as that's just not possible now, we're going to wait until it is and then come back. I think. Yeah, exactly. Just have a little breather. I'm sure a lot of you out there are probably, you know, going through similar things as well. It's not just us. Um, but you know, hopefully things are going to just get better. Yep. 
So that sounds like a nice positive note for me yeah. that we could perhaps end this little video on. Yeah, we hope you're not too mad at us, guys. But as we said, it's only see you later. It's not goodbye forever. Yep, so... Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's done, right? Oh, shit, we're recording.